Hello and welcome amigos to another Taco Tuesday, our favorite day of the week. And today's Taco Tuesday is even better. We have one of our Views Club members, our friend Moni from California that shared her family uh, tuna taco recipe with us. And I think that this is a perfect time to demonstrate some tacos with canned tuna. And we're super excited and thankful and most of all delighted that you guys share your recipes with us. So if you guys are interested in making some tuna melt style tacos, let's get started. I have my pan set on a medium heat and I've already added some oil. I'm using canola oil today, but you use whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna saute our onions, our garlic, and our tomato for about three to four minutes until they're nice and soft. And while we're sauteing our delicious sofrito blend, we're gonna go ahead and start warming up our tortillas, okay? So we're just gonna warm up our tortillas just so that they're pliable. So it's gonna be about 20 seconds on each side if you have a really hot pan, okay? You don't wanna make them too tough to where you can't fold them, but just enough to where they're soft, okay? I know a lot of you love the microwave. I personally haven't used it in over a year and I'm very happy about it. But if you guys find better methods, go for it. Make it comfortable for your home. After four to five minutes, you're gonna see that everything's nice and soft. Your onions are translucent. And if you tap your tomatoes, they just mush it up. <laughs> so go ahead and make some space. I like to make a well. Makes it fun when you're cooking. And I'm gonna add our tuna. And this is canned tuna. Oh yeah. It's a family classic to have tuna in your home, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna break our tuna down so that it can combine with all the delicious flavors because it's about to get really, really delicious in here. Girl, I have a Christian Gospel song in my head. What is it? Ya no quiero verte now. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. You guys know the song, say it in the comments. But make sure to sing it and type it at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, I just went for it because I had it that much in my head. <laughs> that's an awesome. <laughs> Once you've combined those ingredients well, now it's time to add a lot of flavor. You ready? I'm ready. V Views Club, I hope you're ready. We're gonna add our chipotle. And I have the juice of half a can and about two to three peppers will do the work. And I mince them up really fine because our friend Moni said, if you put it in that blender, you know you end up with no chipotle, which you're right, girl. I agree with you. Add your desired amount of black pepper your chicken bouillon. What's up, everybody? It's about to get really, really, really happy in there. It smells amazing in here. What did it, it for really you? It really does. Uh, the chipotle. Really? Yeah, because you could already smell like the tuna and the sofrito. Mm. How many times have I said really so far? I guess I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I should really, really play back and so I can really see. I don't know, somebody's gonna count it and let us know down in the comments. Count this one. We really, really love you guys. We do. You guys made me cry of joy. You guys know I'm a Yorona and not the spooky one. <laughs> the sweet one. Okay, I'm gonna continue to cook this for about three minutes and that's gonna give it enough time to warm up. So hang tight. After those three minutes, turn it off and you're gonna sprinkle in your cilantro. I know, I know some of you don't like this. Skip it or you can chop up some green onions and substitute that green color that you're gonna love in here. Or add one leaf of cilantro. Hey, some of our kids can't handle it, okay? <laughs> it tastes soapy. Don't see it. You want them to feel like Christmas story? No, poor baby. Don't put cilantro Don't listen. In there. Don't listen to your Tia Cloud cilantro <laughs> haters. <laughs> Doesn't that look lovely? Mm -hmm. Now, let's head on over to the island so that we can prepare these and it can be a quick and easy taco assembly because when you make tacos you just want them to come back to back and be ready. So time to line up our tortillas. Our assembly station makes it a lot easier and feeds everybody at the same time, right? That's the That's best part. important. Well, apparently I didn't <laughs> care how I placed them. Vamos a ver. So place your desired amount 
of tuna. And I think for this size tortilla that I have, I'm using las banderitas today, I think about two tablespoons should be good enough. Is it raining, honey? You mean the planes? No, it's gonna rain. The only thing I'm gonna make rain is tacos, girl. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna choose your favorite cheese. I love the mozzarella melty cheese and that's what I have on hand right now. So, okay. Make it comfortable for your home, amigos. You know how I feel about that. Sprinkle your quesito. So now I'm just gonna close them up and I'm gonna place them on my baking sheet. But you could really eat them like this if you wanted. Why do I crack on Taco Tuesday? Do you hear that? I don't know, she's <laughs> crackling. Why don't you tell everybody what you were doing all night, Cloud? Stop. She has uh, a really aggressive work schedule and she's even staying up late, friends, and I get to witness all of it. Oh I get gosh. to hear the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna continue to assemble the rest of my tacos and I'll meet you guys on our stovetop because I doubt Cloud wants to let you guys know what's going on. And I still re don't regret being quarantined. With you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm loving it. Before you place it on your pan, swipe your tortillas with a little bit of oil. Okay? Swipe or no swiping I can it every time. And we're gonna place that part down. And once we place it down, we're just gonna swipe the other side with some oil. We don't need a lot, just a little. And if you don't want oil, don't use it. Les va a quedar todo seco el taco. It's gonna be a dry taco. I know some people that like dry things, so. Yeah, that's true. I'm not one of them. Mm -hmm. I like action. I like to observe. Okay, ready? I have my cast iron on a medium heat and it's gonna get really, really hot. So you're gonna have to gauge your pan um, the best way that you can. Look at you making a flower on this pan. Hey. <laughs> you know I love flowers. All my roses have blooms. They're so happy and I'm missing out. Cause I'm not even going outside for anything. You can always open your window. Well, I'm looking at them through the window. I have pictures, but. My flowers miss me. So if you guys miss Aww. the flowers bloom this year, I'm sorry guys. I know a lot of you love my flowers as much as I do. So go ahead and just swipe the other side with some oil. All right, friends, after three minutes or so, you can flip it over and kind of see where you're at. If you're getting the crisp that you desire and deserve. Okay. Oh, I still falto tantito. The baby with the broken leg. What baby with a broken leg? Oh, it's over there. That tortilla has a broken leg. Oh, the tortilla? <laughs> you, you know I'm going to keep it in here. There's no fun if you don't have variety. That's right. I have variety. Okay, friends. After those three minutes, it's time to remove your tacos to a tray. If you need a little bit of time to serve, make sure you set your oven on 175 degrees and then serve them nice and warm. As always, Views Club and friends, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We truly adore and love each and every one of you. We wanna thank you, Moni, so much for sharing this uh, recipe with us. We're highly grateful for it because it is delicious. I approve. And for all of you that wanna share recipes with us, uh, Moni shared it with us on Instagram. And if you wanna email us your family recipe, um, I'm pretty good at following along. The more details you give me and provide, the more I can share. If you wanna share a picture, if you wanna give a special shout out to anybody, let us know in your message. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios. I'm gonna be using Views Chili Oil today. I'll put a recipe in the description area and we're just gonna pour it in. I like that you're not shading me. That your chili oil went down significantly since I've been eating it. <laughs> Thanks for that. Hey, I make a big, big portion and just 
keep on pouring. It's amazing. And I have a sneak peek Korean uh, chili oil that is seasoned to perfection. And you know, when we get our to our milestone, we're gonna be giving you the recipe. I mean, if you're interested, of course. This is amazing on freaking rice. White rice. <laughs> oh my oh, god. You don't need anything else. Or noodles. Oh, oh man. Okay, that's enough. We're talking tacos, not noodles ahorita. Eh? Okay. Friends, it smells so good in here and careful because this is really hot and I'm still not even gonna care. I'm gonna try and put some cebollita and onions. You can put this in before you warm it up, but I like the freshness. Ay! Hands are, her hands are shaking. It was a love at first sight. <laughs> and then you're gonna add a little bit of uh, your favorite chili oil if you want, but the spice in here, it's not too spicy, it's flavorful. And that's what I love about chipotle. Moni, I think you, you really nailed it, girl. You guys are eating good at your house. You must really love your family, and I'm about to love you when I take a bite out of this taco. Gracias, comadre. <laughs> gracias, gracias, amiga. You guys are so loving and sweet to me. I don't even know what I did to deserve it, but I'm glad that I'm being a good girl. <laughs> you guys ready? Yes. Well, I'm not giving you the first bite today. I gotta let you know what it tastes like. I'm taking the first cheesy, gooey bite. What I like about this is that you would expect tuna to be a stenchy room. It is not. I think the pepper helps you balance that, but I don't mind it. I love seafood. A ver. Pa arriba, pa abajo, y pa el centro, y pa adentro. Okay. All right. For all the seafood lovers, this is your new birria taco. The quesa taco, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's worthy of a bite, you ready? Take a big bite, it's good for you. For those of you that are unsure of eating like tuna warmed up, because I know you're used to it with salad, Come on, you guys fry your tuna with your uh, with your sushi rolls. Quit playing. And don't complain to your parents. Comanse toda la comida. They're doing the best they can. Mm-hmm. You really are. Oh, it's hot and so mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I give this a 10. This is a views on the road 10. I am definitely gonna be making this again. And I love how quick and easy this is to make. What, we can get it done in like 15 minutes? Yes. Perfect dinner. And if the kids are still hungry after this, as my mom would say, que coman pastura, which <laughs> means to eat your greens, right? I actually have Punky right now. He'll eat and he's still hungry after. He's a muncher just like me, so we have always have like fruit, so he's starting to eat an apple after dinner, which I might have to do that too. Porque soy comelona. All your kids go to the oven. Raja just went to the oven. Did he? <laughs> yeah. All my kids They're really trained. go. They know that, that, that it's warming up in the oven. That's awesome. Do I really use my oven that much? To warm up your food, you do. <laughs> yeah, I know. When you guys complain about how dirty it is in there, I use it way too often. And I have a self-clean in the oven. Mm -hmm. When I press that button, it takes me six hours to get it cleaned. And then I have to go in and wipe it. So imagine doing that for every single video. That's ridiculous. I'm a home-cooked chef. Woohoo! But yeah, let me know what you guys have going on today. I think I would like to hear, oh my goodness. Hold on a second. I took a bite right now of the chipotle and pepper combo with the tuna. That is a wonderful flavor. Bendito, but what I was saying <laughs> is let me know what the high of your day was today. So whether it's being with your family, taking a deep breath, whatever that might be, let me know in the comments if you're willing to share. I'm greedy. These tacos are gonna be the highlight of my life. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>